Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Factorio Workshop. As always, I am here with Madzuri. Greetings. And it sounds like you got a new mic, which is awesome. Indeed I did. Awesome. Well, the viewers will definitely be happy about that. So today we're going over an oil uh, processing and cracking build uh, submitted by James Thompson? Tom, I think? James? Um, let's call him James. So... This is pretty interesting. It's a mixture of efficiency beacons and speed beacons with, of course, productivity in the uh, refineries and chemical plants. Um, advanced oil processing, of course, since there's cracking. And uh, and yeah, so I'll kind of let Zuri discuss here. Uh, you know, you've you've had some previous findings on you know efficiency beacon versus speed beacon and stuff like that, which I'll let you go over. Yeah, I'd like to see your work on how you came up with the efficiency beacon design because all my previous calculations and testing showed that the efficiency beacons just didn't work. It usually decreased both the space and the power efficiency of the build over using the speed beacons. So if I've done my math wrong or something, uh, I'd like to be corrected. Right, right. So, so due to your previous math... Um you came to the result that like efficiency wise for space and and like processing speed and stuff it was better to have speed modules with less refineries rather than or speed beacons with less refineries rather than efficiency with more refineries yeah that's correct it was yeah it was both uh more space efficient more power efficient and more pollution efficient to use speed beacons which seems kind of intuitive but it's what i you know those were my results right so, uh, so yeah, I mean, if someone has different results, definitely let us know if you uh, have something that proves differently. I mean, we're definitely interested in that. Um, but overall, besides that, this build, I uh, I really like. It, it seems like he got the ratios right, even, inclu even with the speed and productivity, um, which can be kind of annoying to do sometimes. Because um, it looks like, I mean, all the refineries are running. We have bottleneck enabled. We can see all these are running. Um, and it looks like once in a while the light to petroleum cracking is bottlenecked on the input. Uh, but you mentioned to Misery that that just means he has one or two too many, which is a, a lot better than not having enough. Yes, that'll prevent the light oil from backing up, which is not desirable. Right, so it's, it's definitely better to have the extras than uh, not enough, which is probably what you planned here. So correct ratios, um, you know, pipes are pretty OCD friendly. I mean, they don't really bother me. I like it. And uh, this should this should process a lot of oil. It only takes like 120 megawatts, which is not bad. Um, you know, of course, we can't see liquid production yet, unfortunately, in this version of the game. But good build overall. I like it. Would be interested, as Zuri said, to, um, you know, hear any thoughts or calculations on the, the efficiency beacon for a speed beacon. Um, but I think that'll probably do it unless you have any other thoughts here, Zuri. Oh, we should have thought about it earlier, but we could have used barrels to count everything. That's a good point. Could have used barrels. Um, oh, well. Oh, well. We learn. Uh, but, I mean, this produces a lot. Productivity modules speeded. Pretty high production here for the space. Anyway, that'll do it. For this time, guys, blueprint in the description if you're interested. Um, obviously not including the creative stuff. And yeah, feel free to submit more stuff. We're running a little bit low again. Um, so we'd love to hear that and any other thoughts you have. But until then, we will catch you later. Later.